Right, 8.5 and 8.5, we were talking about properties of logs now. So the first property with logs that I want to address and talk about is actually what we've already done before, the change of base formula to evaluate logs. Uh, basically what this means is you take the, the top, log of the top, and log of the bottom. So this would be a log of, well, what happened there? Weird. There we go. It would be log of the top divided by log of the bottom. And this would be log of the top divided by log of the bottom. And to make sure you're plugging it in correctly, let's just check our answers. Um, we get um, log 7 divided by log 4. Um, that's roughly 1.40. And um, log 5 divided by log 3, that's roughly 1.46. And log 24 divided by log 4 is 2.29, uh, roughly. So just want to make sure you guys are typing them in correctly. Okay, um, expressing as one log. With properties of logs, the first thing to keep in mind is addition with logs. Addition with logs means you can combine whatever's on the inside with multiplication, is what it means. So really this is like saying log with a little base r, 6 times 40, which will give you log little base r of 240, is what that means. So right here, addition means multiplication. So that means I have log of a little 2 and 8 times 65 is 520 because you multiply those two items together. So we have addition again, so that means I multiply. So it's log base A and 13 times 60 is 780. And again, this means multiplication, so I take 13 and 35 and multiply those together, get log base B. 13 times 35 is 455. All right, use these properties to expand. Okay, well, um, division, that division sign right here, that means uh, subtraction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this. I'm going to separate this as log base 6 of x times x plus 4, right? right there like that, um, minus log uh, base 6 x cubed. Okay, here's why. Um, subtraction sign is like division, so I pull them apart, so now I have one and two items. This is multiplication. We just said that whenever you have addition and you're adding them, it's multiplication. So what I can do now is do the opposite. That's multiplication. Now multiplication is like saying we have um, addition there. So I can separate these right here um, by making addition in between each of them. So there you go. Separate each of those in terms of addition. Okay. So then um, with this we have an exponent and you don't want exponents either and what you can do to get rid of exponents when you're talking in terms of logs and the properties of logs that we talked about I can take that and move that down out in front so really this is minus 3 log 6 x so there is everything expanded um, yes so I could combine like terms I have uh, 1 log 6x minus 3 um, log 6x. So really I would have um, minus 2 log base 6x plus log base 6 to the x plus 4. Okay, um, expanding this, it's just an identical problem as the last one. Um, if you wanted to, um, I could take an x out already, and this would be x cubed on the bottom over that. So then I can separate this in one step and do x 
base 3 to the uh, x plus 6 because that's division it's a minus um, log base 3 x cubed and because that's cubed I can take that and move that out to the front so we get log base 3 x plus 6 minus 3 um, log base 3 x and there's your answer for that one okay to expand this one uh, once again let's worry about that division so division means subtraction so I would have a log I'd have a log with a little a um, 4 x y to the fourth minus log little a there for the base z to the third this is all multiplication that's a 4 times x times y to the fourth since that's all multiplication I can split that up with addition so we got a log base a 4 plus log base a x plus log base a y to the fourth minus log base a z to the third and I'm almost done the reason why I'm almost done is this I have exponents move those exponents down to the front is what I mean so our final answer would be log base a to the fourth plus log a x plus I bring that 4 down so it's 4 log base a y bring that 3 down minus 3 log base a z and there's your final answer when you stretch them all out of any problems like that so let's not worry about that and we aren't going to run into director scale problems so main concern there in this uh, section anyway was condensing and expanding and I wanted to make sure you understood that which you do so if you have any other questions or concerns please let me know